Hey Emily and everyone over there at Bartlett Plumbing and Heating. My name is Kylie. I'm with Ring and SEO. We're a local digital marketing agency. I came across your website online and I wanted to share this analysis with you and just go over what I see going on with your website in comparison to what your competitor, competitors are doing online and what's going on in the digital marketing uh, world right now for the services you guys offer. I wouldn't want to waste your time or mine. So with that being said, I'm going to hop right into it. All I ask is that if at the end of this video you decide you like what you hear and what you see, to reach back out so we can schedule a discovery call to further discuss your goals and expectations. If you decide to take these tips and tricks and try to go after it yourself, that's fine too. No harm, no foul. All I ask is for a little feedback. The three things we're going to talk about today are content, backlinks, and citations. These are the three most important factors to Google when ranking a website. Content is king in Google's eyes and it's used to target buyer intent type keywords. So content is obviously the words on your pages, but it's not just limited to that. Content is also the way that images on your website are saved as well. So making sure that they're saved correctly with buyer intent type keywords um, is super important. So having this image, for example, saved as uh, plumbing Grand Ledge, Michigan, if that's a keyword that has a high search volume, is going to help bring customers to your website. Content is also what's behind images on your website. So um, titles, alt tags, meta descriptions, all that fun stuff. So there's a lot that goes into search engine optimization. When we're talking about content as far as words go, making sure that you have 1500 or more words on your uh, pages that you're trying to rank is super important as well. So if you're trying to rank your home page or any service pages or back pages, make sure that you have enough content on those pages to beat your local competitors. 99% of website building companies out there do not understand SEO. So they're not trained in SEO. So they can make some really pretty websites and slap some makeup on it, uh, but it's really not going to do you any good. It looks like you guys are doing okay out here. So um, there just might be a few things you can work on. Certain keywords you're probably not ranking for and finding those and implementing them on your website to get the most uh, possible out of um, people online when they're searching for plumbing companies in Grand Ledge. The second thing I want to talk to you about is citations and citations has everything to do with your Google My Business page. Citations are anywhere that your website is listed or your business is listed with your business name, address and phone number. So directories would be a great example. Uh, a directory would be LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Yellow Pages, all of those online sites that allow you to put your business name, address and phone number. Another good way to do this is same as your website is to look at your local competitors and see what citations they're using. You can actually piggyback off of those citations, use the same ones and then have more. So if your competitors have 50 to 60 citations, you want to go ahead and put 70 or 80 on your website so that you're always having more than they have. Just like on your website, having your images on your Google My Business saved as buyer intent keywords is also going to help in the ranking process. So make sure you have 10 to 15 images, if not more on your Google, my business page that they're relative to your um, niche and that they're saved as buyer intent type keywords. Go ahead and uh, start pushing these reviews to make sure that you've got reviews every time that you, you know, have to have a complete a service for a customer. Try to remember to push that review. Um, just send them a quick email with a, with a, you know, they got like easy links or short links that you can put on there. That'll take them right to your Google My Business page to up your reviews. That's also going to help in the ranking process. And then having your address, phone number, and business name and your website on your Google My Business page is going to help as well. This is an example of if I were to type in a keyword or key phrase, so plumbing Grand Ledge, Michigan. When I type in that keyword, uh, these are the three businesses that pull up in the Google My Business or the Google Map Pack. We want to have your business up here in these top three. The way to do that is citations like we just discussed, and then also ranking your website organically. So this is a directory here, but you've got Headland Plumbing, another directory, uh, More Plumbing, another directory. Uh, these are all directories here, but ranking your business organically through your website. So that's content and keywords and all that stuff. 
is going to help rank your business up here, but you've got to have all the SEO behind the scenes stuff going on to be able to be seen in this top three of this Google map pack. And that's super important for bringing clients to your business. The third thing we're going to talk about are backlinks. So if this is a, um, a paid tool that I use. It's called a refs. It's a, basically an overview of your website and it shows me the power that's coming to your website. You have 71 backlinks coming from 15 referring domains. Uh, the most important thing to look at is not all backlinks are created equal. And a backlink is just one website linking back to another website saying, hey, these guys are a good source. Check them out. Um, that's basically telling Google that you're actually more trustworthy of a source. So you want to have these high quality backlinks that are referring back to your website and you want to make sure they're related to the services that you offer. So having a domain name coming from um, a tire shop or an ice cream shop isn't going to provide the power that you need to rank you organically or in the map pack on Google. So pay attention to that for sure. And that's going to up this number here. So this is a pretty good indicator, your domain rating. So this is the trust source type thing that Google's finding for you. So having go, go in and check these links and make sure that they're not coming from spammy websites and that they're coming from sites that are related to plumbing, whether it be another plumbing company, you know, locally or out of state, you can go ahead and do that and, and pull links and power from them to bump you up in Google. This here is your organic keywords. So you have 119 organic keywords. I can pull in here and I can see the volume. So search volume for certain keywords, the keyword difficulty, cost per click. So the amount people or other companies are willing to pay per click on that keyword or key phrase, the traffic that is driving and the position that you're in it for. So plumbing and heating. Plumbing and heating is a keyword, but you don't have your location or the state linked behind it. So plumbing and he heating might have 3000 in volume, but they're not all coming from Grand Lodge or Lansing area. So you might be pulling from other states and that's not going to bring business to your company. You've got Bartlett Plumbing. So these are your name and you're ranking number one, obviously, for your name. But you can go in here and you can see so Plumbing Lansing, Michigan. You're right about on the first page, maybe second page of Google. We've got to bump these numbers up so that you're actually on the first page of Google so that your uh, GMB is going to rank in the number one position. So going through and looking at all these keywords that you have on here, which it looks like you have a good variety, but being able to bump this up so that you're not on the second, third, fourth page of Google, you're in that number one position. And we're going to go here. Okay, so just to sum it up, I'll just do a quick recap here of what we talked about. Uh, three steps to generating more sales with your business is what we discussed today. Uh, number one was increasing the relevant content on your website. Example would be always having more content on your homepage or back pages than your local competition. So 1,500 plus words or more. Um, make sure to implement those keywords into that uh, content as well. And then high quality backlinks to rank for high volume search words. So, or keywords, sorry. So those backlinks have, have everything to do also with your keywords. So pulling those backlinks, linking them to your keywords, and, and that's going to help increase the number of potential clients who visit your website. Um, an example of a, a keyword would be um, plumbing Grand Ledge, Michigan. And then number three, add those citations. So name, address, phone number into local directories. And that boosts your GMB to the top three positions of Google Map Pack. So more citations than your competition and use those directories. Utilize them. I hope that this video was helpful for you. I appreciate you taking the time to view the website audit. Call or email me if you have any questions regarding ways to increase your online presence. And I look forward to speaking with you soon. Thank you.